Good morning, everyone. It's Liani. It is early. It's about, I think it's like 2.51 in the morning. But thank you, Lord, for waking us up to see another morning. Happy Friday, everyone. Today's video, let's just chat. So there's many things going on in this world. There's a lot of mental health issues going on with people. People are struggling between the pandemic, between losses, between losing jobs, different things are occurring in people's lives. But today's video is about people who they say with their lips certain things, but behind it, there's a hidden agenda. So let's go to Proverbs 26 and 24. And it reads, people cover their hatred with pleasant words. And then I'm going to read further because there's more to it. That's just a reference, but I'm going to read there's more to it. So it says people cover their hatred with pleasant words, but they're deceiving you. They pretend to be kind, but don't believe them. Their hearts are full of many evils. Let me read that one more time. And that's Proverbs 26 and 24. And it reads people cover their hatred with pleasant words, but they're deceiving you. They pretend to be kind, but don't believe them. Their hearts are full of many evils. So right there is states that people will say stuff with their words. It sounds good. It sounds like they're for you, but the motive behind it is not pure. It's full of many evils, it says. I'm just going to read really quickly for you guys. Proverbs 26, 24 through 27. So it's Proverbs 26. Uh, yes, Proverbs 26, and then it's verses 24 through 27, and it reads, People cover their hatred with pleasant words, but they're deceiving you. They pretend to be kind, but don't believe them. Their hearts are full of many evils. While their hatred may be concealed by trickery, their wrongdoing will be exposed in public. If you set a trap for others, you will get caught in it yourself. If you roll a boulder down on others, it will crush you instead. So people are out there doing things. They're setting things up. They're setting you up. They're setting things up uh, for your downfall. But as the word says, don't try to get revenge. Don't try to set them up because then somehow it'll backfire and it'll come down upon you instead. In the Bible, it says that God will revenge you. He will, his revenge is just. His revenge is the one that will deal with your enemies. So it says, don't avenge yourselves in the, in the word. I don't know the specific um, wording because it's so early right now. I'm trying to get my thoughts together, but I'm trying to get this word out and be obedient. But it does say not to avenge yourselves for the vengeance is the Lord's excuse. There you go. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Um, look at the Holy Spirit coming through early in the morning. Yeah, it says that. Um, so even though you may feel justified in saying, I'm going to retaliate, whether it be with your words, um, whether it be with your actions, whether it be, you know, so a lot of people like to take to social media. Please, guys, don't do that. Don't do that. That's not the will of God. If somebody says something, they verbally attack you or what have you. Don't resort to, I'm going to say something to them on social media, or I'm going to retaliate back because this is what they did to me. Two wrongs do not make it right. Let it be. But um, back to the, the message of people covering up hatred with pleasant words. Sometimes it can be hurtful if it's um, somebody you don't know, or even if it's somebody that you do know, that's even more hurtful if it's like a family member. If it's a close friend, that's where it really starts to sting because maybe you thought, okay, this person was for me. I thought we were like this. And then you find out, man, you know, the whole time I never knew that they were, so to speak, as people would say, a Judas in my life. You know, they betrayed you. Um, and it happens. It's happened to me. You know, there's people where I was like, oh, man, <laughs> I never knew that it was like this. And when they were close uh, people or family members or friends, and I was just like, wow, you know, it's like over my head. I never knew, but it just goes to show you that even in spite of, you can rise above it through Christ, we can do all things. 
but don't retaliate. Don't try to avenge yourselves. Don't try to get them back or, or, you know, do something to tarnish them because if you do, it will turn back on you because then people might look at you like, oh, well, maybe you're like this because you're telling me this. And sometimes it's you just venting, you're saying stuff, but people are going to take things the way that they take them. If people know you in the nature of who you are, they won't think those ill things about you. If they do, then it just exposes what was in their heart towards you in the first place. Amen. So again, uh, be aware of people like that who say a lot of kind things, but seek the Lord in all of these things and ask him, what is that person's motive, if any, because there may not be a motive, but if it is, Lord, let it be exposed in the name of Jesus. So don't avenge yourselves. Keep your peace. Pray for those people because it says to pray for our enemies. Let them go on their way. And if the Lord causes you guys to be distant, let it be distant. You can pray for them and love them from a distance. If he causes for you guys to reconcile, then there will be a time for that. As Ecclesiastes, there's a time for everything to be angry, to be happy, to be sad, to be mad for death, for life. There's a time for everything. And that time, you'll know when it's time and the Lord will appoint that time and make it aware to you and both the other parties, if it be his will. So just be mindful, be aware. And if you're that person that, um, says things about others, repent of your sins and sin no more. Stop it. Let it go. Let go of the hurt. Get therapy. There's therapy out there. Counseling, spiritual counseling. Pray to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Get in that secret place of the Most High God where it's you and him and just pour out your pain and whatever you're going through. And then if it's joy, maybe some people on here are happy, then continue and don't let anybody, you know, dim your light or dim the light of Christ in you and keep on going. God bless you all. This is Liani. Happy Friday, guys. Have a blessed day.